Think of the best place you can get an amazing slice of pizza. Just the best, juiciest, most delicious slice you can think of. Where on earth is that slice? That's right. Italy. New York. It's New it's York. Italy. Dude, shut up. Recently, Kelly and I set up a trip to go see friends in New York. Uh, this is Kelly, by the way. I don't think I've introduced her to you yet. Kelly, meet subscribers. Subscribers, meet Kelly. <laughs> We're gonna go see friends. It's very exciting. Yet there was one thing I had on my mind for this trip. Pizza. I see in media all over the place. Hey, New York slice this, New York slice that. I'm walking here. So I created this image in my head. I'm like, wow, New York slice pizza must be like the best pizza ever. And now I am landing in a place where that pizza is. So the day comes around. We're ready to fly. But as luck would have it, our flight is canceled due to weather. But good news is that there was another flight with a little detour to Chicago that could still get us there the same day. So we get to the airport, but bad news is that pesky little weather problem comes rearing its ugly head once more. And normally that's not a problem, but our connecting flight would then take off before the first one lands and then we would just miss it. I was feeling a little spicy, so I said, Kelly, if we go and lose the bet, then we're just stuck in Chicago and we grab a hotel, get some room service and party like we're stuck in Chicago with no responsibility because that's literally what would be happening. Or we go. Somehow the second flight also gets delayed. We go to New York and we're back on track to get exactly what we wanted in the first place. That's a win-win. Life is short, you know? You gotta be crazy sometimes. Make bad decisions. So we did. So we're on the plane. It takes off. The flight went fine. There was no peanuts though. How am I expected to survive and thrive? in these conditions. We land and our second flight is delayed, but it's on the other side of the airport. It's leaving in like 45 minutes and we're on the back of the plane. So we have to run. And while we're running through the airport, we're like taking wrong directions, getting lost. Kelly's bag actually bursts open. Oh God! And when we finally find our gate, we're actually 20 minutes early. And then some guy laughed at me. Turns out we didn't need to run at all. I was sweaty, tired embarrassed but you know i didn't care pizza's on the way i feel great and the trip isn't even over yet the plane had even more complications if you can believe it but hold on um i need to be somewhere i'll be right back this video is sponsored by keeps you ever wish that you could get your life together yeah same Anyway, on an unrelated note, Keeps is a subscription service that delivers hair loss treatment to your door. You might be thinking, and I say, yeah, good question. All Keeps treatment plans are doctor recommended and delivered straight to your door at about half the cost of a traditional pharmacy. Also, Keeps has an award-winning all-natural thickening shampoo and conditioner system that makes your hair strong and robust. Keeps has a network of medical advisors, prescribers, and care specialists that you can contact and they can support you with whatever hair goals you may have. Several people who have witnessed users of Keeps have survived. Here's what they have to say. They had great hair. Hair loss stops with Keeps. To get 50% off on your first order, go to keeps.com slash ice cream sandwich or click the link in the description. That's K-E-E-P-S dot com slash ice cream sandwich. Keeps. Buy Keeps today and I'll let you keep your life. So we get on this next plane, the connecting plane. We couldn't leave for an extra 40 minutes because of the bad weather that had happened before. And there was talk, there was discussion from the captain. He's like, hey guys, if we fly out tonight, we might just land in DC. Which, you know, not what I paid for, but I guess it is the preferable option, all things considering. Eventually, things cleared up. He's like, okay, let's go. What? Then there was like a shift change in the pull crew, so nobody was present to move the plane to the tracks runway. So we were just stuck, like... This whole trip just to get to New York was exhausting. Eventually, the plane flies in New York. The turbulence wasn't too bad. We do land alive. After we land, we try to take a taxi and almost get scammed because I was too tired to realize there was just some random guy trying to charge people several times higher than actual taxi rates to drive people into the city. But then we got suspicious and just went on a normal taxi. It's 3 a.m. We get to the apartment and we are beat, beat to the bone. But you know what? Pizza's on the horizon. So the following day, immediately, the first thing I see when I get outside, we see a lizard on a leash. There's people everywhere and everybody's hot. It's insane. The most I can dress up is like a shirt. Maybe break out my nice jeans if we're really going out. But the people in New York, they're like two ends of this f fashionable spectrum. They're either fashionable gods that just walked off the runway or they just like got run over. 
which can also be considered fashionable. Generally, wherever you walk in New York, you're walking over trash, but then you turn to your right and it's the most pristine, pure store that you've ever seen. It was the most contrasting place I've ever been in my life. There was no middle ground for anything. But all in all, I'm really charmed by New York. And it took a couple days after we arrived, but we think after a day of touring, maybe let's get some drinks and then go eat that pizza. Get that New York slice and I'm ready for it. We find our this pizza place, almost literally a hole in the wall. And it's everything I imagined. There was this good amount of wear and tear, no door and no wider than two people laid sideways. Look at the signage on this thing. I immediately fell in love. I got myself two slices and a Dr. Pepper, and the wait is finally over. I finally get to take my bite. <laughs> Let me explain this flavor to you. The cheese tasted stale. There was a subtle hint of cardboard in every bite. And do I sense a hint of came out of the oven 20 minutes ago? And by golly, is that 10 times my daily salt intake? And all that sounds pretty bad. But I am dead serious when I say that was one of the best slices I have ever had. Think about it. Has food tasted better after you've been eating a lot of it or after a great amount of effort? And so like, I guess what I'm trying to say, it's not really about the destination. It really is about the friends you make along the way. Nah, I'm just kidding. I just really like salt.